Hey, what's going on, guys? If you remember a few years back, I did an interview with a fellow modeler here in Korea, Song Dong Lee, otherwise known as Gunpla Lab, is probably how a lot of you guys may know him now. Uh, since he, the interview that I did with him back then, he started his own YouTube channel, has been very successful, he's a very good modeler, so uh, we've stayed friends over the years, and he came out with a new music video, a new song, a music video here for this. Honey, I didn't buy this, I swear. Uh, by his band professor Lee's band. So I've heard the song a couple of times now. It's a lot of fun I think if any of you guys are in a relationship whether you have a girlfriend or married or boyfriend or married or whatever uh, Then you can maybe relate to the theme of this song. It's a pretty fun one basically about uh, Buying kits and then having to hide them from your significant other or your significant other just being uh, Angry that you're always buying kits. It's something I'm sure a lot of us go through in our hobby here now, aside from just a kind of reaction to the song itself in this video, I did also want to share some insight about just kind of Korea in general, since he's Korean, the music video takes place in Korea. I also live in Korea. Uh, I thought I can just share some cool kind of tidbits of information along the way that you guys may not have picked up on if you've not spent any time in Korea or just not very familiar with the country and the culture and everything. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, this opening scene takes place in a playground in an apartment complex. Now, any like apartment complex will be like three, four, five, six, seven of these like high-rise buildings, and then usually like in the center of them or like right nearby, they always have their own playground, which is like their own dedicated playground. Now, you don't have to live in the apartment in order to play there. Uh, I sometimes take my kids to play in other playgrounds because it's like a better playground in another different apartment complex. So they're just there uh, to use. But it's one thing that I do really like about uh, living in these type of apartment apartment complexes here in Korea is that you have your own playground like right there right outside your apartment it's great if you have kids that said this apartment complex looks very nice I don't know if Song Dong lives there or not but if he lives there then that's a pretty nice place but that looks very expensive this particular apartment complex so I'm not sure if that's actually where he lives or not but uh, good for him if he does I haven't been to his place so I also like the fact that it's a titanium finished Shinanju, which I think realistically I don't expect that uh, Songdong would be all that excited about this particular kit because like me, I think if we just like for the fact that we paint, we would much rather just paint it ourselves and just the fact that it's like a metallic plated or like special coating version wouldn't actually be all that exciting to me or I imagine probably him as well, but I don't know, that's good acting I guess. Mostly too, just that the song is actually really catchy and really well made, as you guys will hear as we're going through it. Also, the direction of the music video is quite good, just the, like the cinematography and all the editing and everything is really well made, so I'm actually very impressed just by the quality of the music video itself. <laughs> Now, this is something else kind of interesting if you see on the number pad there's like this square of like protective film on that that's something they started doing after covid it's supposed to be like anti-viral film or something to protect like when you're touching stuff that a lot of people touch so like elevator keypads have that also like it's wrapped around the the handles of like the carts at the grocery store and stuff and then like on number pads like this uh, to like put in the code to get into apartments and everything. I don't know if it actually works or really does anything or even what it is exactly, but you see it all over the place now since because of COVID. <sighs> And I should also maybe explain just about like the main, like the title of the song and also the the chorus here, Igo Sangonanya. Igo Sangonanya is the like I didn't buy this one, and the I swear part I guess is like a translation of the like the next line. Igo Sangonanya, Jolte Sangonanya, Jolte is just means like uh, 
like seriously or definitely, but I guess it could be translated as like I swear I didn't buy it. It's like I, it's like I definitely didn't buy it, or I guess I swear I didn't buy it. But I guess a super literal translation would be something like it's not one that I bought. It's definitely not one that I bought. But you know, you could kind of make that a little bit nicer to uh, honey. I didn't buy this. I swear, it makes more sense. <laughs> And event raffles are something that exists here because we do have Gundam base and it's interesting actually in case you guys didn't know that the Gundam base is now like the main Gundam base in Tokyo which is right next to the one to one scale Gundam. Uh, that used to be Gundam Front Tokyo and then the actual like Bandai stores that we have here in Korea which there's a few of uh, were called Gundam base. And then they changed this, the name of the main store there in Japan. They actually changed to Gundam Base as well. And now they have multiple different Gundam Bases in Japan. But it's kind of funny that like the name Gundam Base, as far as I know, was actually started here in like Bandai, Korea. So it was like a Bandai, the, best, the name of the Bandai stores here. But yes, they do have different event raffles and things like that uh, from time to time at the Gundam Bases here. I'm <sighs> going <sighs> And this bit here where he's saying, should I hide it in the fire extinguisher case that's actually on every floor of like the, in the apartment building you have the main elevator that goes up and every floor usually then will have two or three doors to go into the apartments on that floor. And then always right next to the elevator will be this sort of like little locker, like what you can see opening here. And it's just the access to the fire extinguisher, or basically actually to the fire hose. It would be more precise. There's fire extinguishers in the apartment, in like the outside of the apartments, but in the elevator area where you get onto the elevator is where they have these cabinets. And sometimes like you can ask like when the delivery man brings packages to your place, if you're worried about somebody stealing the package, leaving if, like leaving the package outside your door, which normally they do, the amount that packages actually get stolen from outside your doors is basically non-existent. I would honestly never worry about it. But if you are worried about that, sometimes people will ask the delivery guy to just leave the package in this little like locker because then it, it's not locked but then it's at least like out of sight so anyway that's what the deal with this uh, fire extinguisher case is Yes, I remember the days of before I actually got some proper shelves to stack up my backlog is when I had like one or two of these stacks where the stack just goes up to the ceiling. Yeah, I I remember the days when that was the extent of my backlog. Now it's much more. <laughs> Uh, and you guys probably know, if you listen to K-pop or if you watch like Korean dramas and stuff, you may know what oppa is. Oppa is what uh, a girl, it's technically like what a younger sister would call her older brother, but it's also what girls will call like their boyfriends in relationships because usually the boyfriend is older. Anyway, oppa is meant for someone that's older. Uh, for a girl to call an older boy, whether it's her actual brother or just like an older friend or usually their boyfriend and then if they get married then they'll the wife, assuming that the husband is older, will usually still use the word opa. But it's interesting in my case, my wife has never called me opa because actually my wife is a little bit older than me. So I actually uh, am supposed to call her Nuna, which is the word for older sister but in a relationship you don't really use nuna i think that would be really weird to use but it's interesting that if it's the other way around uh girls can use opa for older brothers or uh, older older boyfriend which is actually a word that just means older brother but anyway <laughs> I'm trying to get a good look at Songdong's guitar to see if it's Shar themed. It's red, so I'm assuming it's maybe supposed to be kind of Shar inspired at least, and maybe that's why he wanted a red one. But I don't know if it has like any actual like Shar or like Xeon markings or anything on it. That would be cool. Songdong, if that's not an actual 
Shar themed guitar, then I think you know it's time to get one. The first time I was watching this, I was watching it with my wife, and we were watching this part. My wife was saying, Yeah, that's right. You shouldn't feel bad about that. And I thought, Hmm, that's nice. Yeah, totally. It's your money, right? And if you got like money to spare at the end of the month, you know, if all your responsibilities are taken care of, you know, all the all the bills are paid, then why not spend some money on your hobby? I mean, that makes sense. I don't see anything wrong with that, right? <laughs> It's also kind of funny, uh, she said, if you clean out this one slide, because it's kind of very stereotypical. I don't know how, like, what the percentage actually is, but um, usually in married relationships especially, it is very traditional, or I should say very uh, kind of outdated, as we would think of it in the West, is that the men, husbands in a relationship, often don't do any housework, including like cleaning, laundry, vacuuming, washing dishes, cooking especially older generations, def the men definitely don't do that. And even like younger generations of like our age, like 30s and something, I would imagine it's probably around half and half uh, that the husbands actually help out with the housework. But it's something that's only recently starting to change, I think. <laughs> This is what trips me up as well when it comes to like buying kits is when there's a great deal on it. In like usually my ability to resist buying kits is pretty good. Like if I go to Japan or something where like you're there in Akihabara and visiting a, a shop where everything's super cheap and like you really want to buy some stuff, but normally I'm pretty good at, at not buying things that I really don't need kind of, uh, but when it's a really good deal, when stuff is on sale, of course, that's when it's the hardest. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate. When, when you get a really good deal, you find a really good deal on something, yeah, even though you have like a big stack of backlog and you don't know when you're ever gonna build it, you got it at a good price and you don't know when you're ever gonna find it at that price again, so you gotta get it. <laughs> This is also funny, the thing that she do. This is kind of a, a play fighting thing that especially a lot of kids do, but I, I think in relationships, I mean, people do this. My wife doesn't do it to me, so I don't know, but uh, this, like, s snapping someone on the forehead is something that I think, like, uh, people in relationships will do. I've seen it, but it's not that common. I don't know about, like, for teachers to do to kids, but definitely kids do it to each other a lot. <laughs> So there you have it guys, my thoughts on the song itself. It's a really fun song, very catchy song, I enjoy it. Uh, so that was really cool that Songdong made that. If you guys have not watched the video, the music video by itself, uh, go watch it uh, over on his channel. And while you're there, if it's your first time seeing anything on his channel, check out a bunch of his other videos. He does a lot of live streaming on there and some really great uh, tutorials and painting videos and all sorts of great stuff. Uh, Songdong's a great guy, a great modeler. So I really hope you guys will uh, show him a lot of love over there on his channel. Subscribe and like the original video. Uh, instead of just watching this, I do would love if you guys would also, you know, show some love to the original video. You know, going there, commenting on it, saying how much you love it, or if you've had a similar situation or something. Like the video, subscribe to his channel, uh, show him some love, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that little bit of information about Korea and all that stuff was... Uh, interesting to you guys. If you know of any other cool like Gundam themed songs that you would like to see some sort of reaction video to then definitely let me know. I'm I'm open to trying that. Uh, but for now that's gonna be it for today.
the day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like the video, commenting, subscribing, all that's greatly appreciated. Till next time, I'll see y'all. Till next time, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Where are you from?